day my people this one are the news for this channel this morning listen to the headlines justice Unyako is partisan must step down from unam the canon's case ipob says listen to the news in full IPOB, which made a demand in a statement issued by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, condemned what it described as the Nigerian government's political and judicial persecution of Kanu using justice in Yaku. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has asked Justice Binta Yaku of the Federal High Court to step down from the case of its detained leader, Unamdi Kanu. IPOB, which made the demand in a statement issued by its media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, condemned what it described as the Nigerian government's political and judicial persecution of Kanu using justice in Yako. According to Powerful, during the last court appearance of Mazi Unam de Kanu on April 17, 2024, Justice Binta Yako openly threatened to adjourn the case indefinitely because she was not allowed the liberty to execute the scripted judgment against Mazi and handed to her by the Nigerian government. The visibly angry judge, Nyako Shwet, proved that she was highly compromised. She is being manipulated and controlled by the executive branch of the Nigerian government via the Ministry of Justice. Justice Binta Yako has made herself an interested party in Mazdeunam this case instead of being a non-partisan and unbiased judge. Justice Binta Yako should redeem herself and recuse herself or step down from Mazdeunam this case, Kanu's case. He further said that since the kidnap and rendition of Mazdeunam the Kanu, in June 2021, an illegal arraignment before Justice Binta Yako's court without legal representation. Justice Binta Yako has not given Mazi Unam the kind of breathing space to express himself in order to allow for fair hearing. Even though the Supreme Court ruled that the Nigerian government committed an international crime in bringing Mazi Unam the Kano, back to Nigeria and that the Nigerian military invasion of Mazikano's residence on 14 September 14th of September 2017 was responsible for him fleeing and that Justice Bintan Yako should not have revoked his bill. Justice Bintan Yako should have reinstated Mazi Unam Dikano's bill and apologized to him for tampering with his fundamental human rights. No, she never reinstated Mazi Unam Dikano's bill. Instead, she reviews Mazi Unam Dikano's fresh applications for bill or transfer from the DSS solitary confinement to a correctional center because she has a hidden hatred and agenda. The actions and antecedents of Bin Taun Yako indicated that she will rule against this innocent man for reasons best known to her, Powerful alleged that Justice Binta Yako was under an already scripted judgment and she's under instructions to jail Mazi Unam Dikanu. That's why she rejected every application to grant Mazi Unam Dikanu bill or transfer him to the correctional center, but insisted on accelerated hearing so she can deliver an agreed upon sentence to the federal government of Nigeria. And this is the news for today as we see that Justice Binta Yako has been asked to step down from Mazi Unam the case because according to IPOB leaders, a spokesman representative that represented them, Ima Powerful, said that she has been compromised. And she will most likely rule in the favor of the federal government and send an innocent man, Nam Dukano, to prison. And this is the news for today. Don't forget to like this video, comment under this video, and subscribe to this channel to get more news from this channel.